What's up everybody? I guess we're live, so I will just go straight into it. So I actually literally just got an email from You're Ray. Live. You're live. <laughs> Thanks, Ange. Um Okay, so I literally just got an email and we're planning this a couple days ago to do a um, kind of do a video about how to choose your handboard um, that will best suit yourself, right? So I actually kind of we, we've never actually done anything like this and I it seems like the most obvious thing so um, yeah okay so anyway uh, so this is to Fabio he's in Brazil and he actually asked this like I said just asked this question what's the best board for me I've been looking at all of them so um, there are two ways that I kind of like simplified it down to how how I feel would be the best way to categorize um, these things in Today we're going to talk about um, choosing a board for your ability. If you've been surfing, and if you're a surfer, you you know um, you know what I'm talking about when I say you'll probably be choosing a board or any kind of board, surfboard, longboard, whatever. You'll be choosing it um, according to the kind of wave you're going to ride. We're not going to discuss that today. What we're going to discuss is for beginners specifically is how to choose a board by your ability. So the way I like to break it down is um, really you're either a, a complete novice, kind of a beginner, intermediate or advanced, right? So there's really kind of like uh, kind of four things that you really want to look at. So if you've um, never been in the ocean before, um, you would probably be a beginner to advanced where you're talking Sean Anoka, uh, the guys over in Hawaii who are dropping in on, on pipeline and stuff, that's advanced. That's who we're talking about when we talk about advanced. Intermediate is somebody who has been doing it for, you know, let's say five, six years and they're starting to really feel comfortable about going out in some bigger stuff, you know, when maybe a, a couple years before you would have been a little bit uh, kind of um, deer in the headlights if you saw anything over kind of five, six feet coming towards you. Um, so that's good, you've kept up with it. Um, obviously beginner is somebody who's been in the water a little bit um, and you are, you know, you're capable in the water, but you still, you know, when it gets big, you probably stay on the, on the shore. And then of course starter, um, starter or beginner, you know, starter to beginner is, is somebody who has really kind of it doesn't feel comfortable in the water. So I uh, show of hands around here where you guys think you are. So Michelle and Ange, where do you think you you sit on that? I'm a intermediate. So and beginner Michelle? intermediate. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, yeah, so be honestly be honest with yourself about um, if you're if you're listening to this, definitely be honest with yourself about where you are because um, I have been in like the, the ocean can change really quickly. So, uh, if you're not, you get taught a lesson very quickly. I grew up in South Africa where, um, uh, on the Cape point where the seas are very rough. So if you think you can do something that you couldn't, um, you will, it, I mean, you're talking the difference between life and death, um, especially in situations like that and pretty much anywhere. Um, it only takes a tablespoon of water to drown and, uh, the ocean is far more far more than a tablespoon. So um, going back to so um, we actually have them all lined up. I don't know. Can, can you guys? Can everybody see them in the in the footage? Oh uh, yeah, the only one that's kind of cut off is the bula. Okay, cool. So so guys, all these boards exist for a for a a reason. Every single one of them is designed specifically for a certain, um, exactly what I just said, from beginner all the way through. Now, to be quite honest with you, um, I don't really consider myself a beginner, quite obviously, um, seeing as, you know, I started the company and everything. Um, but I honestly, like, the, the we consider the, the wedge a beginner board. Um, but I love to take that out because I get a lot once you once you start to really get into it. So when we're talking about which board you should get, it's basically if um, it's specific for that. But you can use any one of these boards in pretty much all the conditions. Um, 
uh, they were just designed specifically for certain stuff. So let's start from the beginner and then we'll make our way up and this is pretty much in a row is exactly the way. So we'll start a beginner um, with the soft top board. Uh, then the wedge would be kind of your beginner to intermediate and the in intermediate to advanced and then advanced to almost specialist um, kind of uh, things. So that's, that's how they line up. Um, so that's our um, uh, police lineup. <laughs> um, great. Let me just move these out the way. If you guys didn't see our, um, our um, video on fins, check it out. Definitely, that was pretty cool. I don't know if anybody got anything out of that, but it was fun to do. Um, great. So as a beginner, um, we have the Grom, or let's say starter to beginner. Um, this is a great starter board. This was designed, um, or I designed it very much specifically for um, beginners. And now i tell you why it's so great. It's because it's soft. Okay, so it's a soft top um, with a slick bottom. Um, got a bit of concave, nothing too hectic. Obviously, it was designed um, for that in mind. Um, now... What's so great about this board is, uh, for a beginner specifically, is the size. Um, you can really get high up on the board and um, it's got a lot of buoyancy. So this board here is amazing for that. Um, the, the shape doesn't need too much um, sort of going through. Uh, it's almost a stubby, stubby nose with uh, kind of almost like a, a, a fish a fishy type tail. Um, if you guys don't know what a fish is, um, it's just a style of, of surfboard and that's the kind of tail that that has. So um, this is just being released and we, I, I mean, I, we love these boards. Like this, this board is awesome. I've used this in all sorts of different stuff, but that's why this was designed. Um, also, Bump friendly, so you can make mistakes in um, in 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 the wave, and you're not going to lose a set of teeth. And um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I got to say about that. As far as being a beginner board, I really think this is it's easy, it's fun to use. Um, you can fling it over, and you know, and you're not going to hurt anybody. Um, and you know, that's uh, you know that was basically why this was designed. Uh, so then we're going to move on to um, sort of our started, like once you've kind of had, I, I would say even if you've got, you had the Grom for a bit and you really want to kind of get a little bit more uh, slick going, a little bit more speed on the wave, um, I think, you know, a step up for us would be the wedge. And so this was, um, now the reason that we call it, um, you know, the, why this is, um, an intermediate, I mean, not an intermediate, a beginner or, um, you know, kind of a beginner board, beginner to intermediate, is that um, the width, okay? So this is a lot bigger than, um, you know, any regular hand plane. We get that a lot, it's like, oh my god, they're really big, and, you know, honestly, if you want, like, this is, this is what most people think one should look like, um, as far as size, if you can see the difference, it's kind of a little bit bigger than your hand. Now, the reason that this is a beginner board, again, is because of the width. Um, what that does is, is, if you can imagine the difference between a short board, so, you know, those, you know, for anybody who's a real beginner, if you see um, the guys with uh, a surfboard that's probably that big compared to somebody with a long board, um, that's where that's the kind of comparison we like to make. It's kind of the comparison between a short board and um, the short board being the Bula and then um, the long board. Now obviously if if well not obviously but if you if you try to learn how to surf you understand that being on a big board like a long board um, is a lot easier to, to actually stand up. And so that's what this is about. When you get up you have so much more surface area. To work with it doesn't slip out um, you've got a lot more forgiving it's a lot more um, it gives you a lot more forgive forgiveness as far as getting up on the wave 
with this I love I mean you can ride away for so long on one of these I've I rode one um, down at Salt Creek I remember literally from the point at Salt Creek all the way down to down to the beach and now that's probably a good I don't know it was a good like minute ride it was I just kept on going down coming back up doing doing turns um, the concave like with this if you'll notice um, are fairly similar uh, now the the well when we go to the Bula you'll see the difference between a really heavy concave and why why one of these is because when you when you're on the wave you can actually move around you can you can you know do like turns I do like sprays and all sorts of stuff so um, you know that's obviously as you get a little bit better um, but as a beginner this is definitely a great board um, if you want to take it that one step step above so let's move on to uh, intermediate and the reason we put this as intermediate um, again you can take a look at the shape um, this is one of the most beautiful shapes it's incredible um, now the reason we put this board at intermediate to advanced um, I would almost err on the side of advanced for this board um, because to get it right um, this when I first took it out it was and actually going back that reminds me I'm talking about this when I when we first designed this or I first designed um, the board we started it was a lot shorter and then I literally started adding and this is going back to the wedge is I started adding on centimeter after centimeter because what I was finding was most of the time with a board like this um, most of the time I was going down to the beach, it was kind of crappy. Um, at the time when I was when I was um, testing this, it was in Durban, um, and the the waves were, you know, honestly, it was I think it was summer, so you know there wasn't there wasn't much around. And every time I took it down, I want you know it was just like I said, you know, in between you know swells and and. What was happening was when I was catching a catching a, a wave, I would get it to so far, and the wave just didn't have enough um, kind of to push me going forward, right? So I would go back and I would shape it a little bit bigger, and then take it back out. And the, the bigger and bigger I went, the more the, the more distance I could get on a wave. So that's um, it, just going back to that. It reminded me of when I was talking about this is why why we went this size. Um, I went a little bit bigger and then it just started getting out of hand. Um, so, so this for, for me um, was the perfect, perfect size. This also handles anything up to, I mean, if you're looking as far as size for, for bodies concerned, um, I'm six foot, about 180, um, give or take. And, um, you know, we, we have some guys that are, some big guys that are riding this a lot bigger than I am. Um, you're looking at like six three, six four. You know, two hundred and fifty pounds, and this handles really well. Um, this is also another great if you're a bigger guy because of the buoyancy. This is a great board to get, um, and again, you know, because of that softness, um, that's a great purchase for you. Um, so going back to this board, the fish. Um, so the fish was specifically designed it was it was basically a, a you know it was a beautiful shape and um what this how this really it, it kind of goes back to what a you know a, a fish board um, a regular size fish board is all about which is to pick a line and when you got that line it just it holds it and it goes so when i'm talking about a line is when you get on a wave and you turn into it and you just go straight and it just performs beautifully in that line um, and so that what this th that is what this board was all about now the the fish like I said when I mentioned it probably err on the more side of um, of being a little bit more advanced is because I took this out um, when we were testing it at Marie the Marie swell and um, I pulled in on a monster and just when I I dipped it in too far so there's a balancing act that you see on this board that you really need to get right and it's your own personal weight um, where you put put the weight on your hand your own style 
Some guys like to be out like this. Some guys like to be right over. I prefer to be right over. And what happened was I just put too much weight on the on the front. But what what this board is amazing for is speed. Um, it is incredible how fast this goes. I actually caught a wave. Um, this was after I kind of got used to it. I don't know why I was testing a board out in like eight foot Maurice well, but nonetheless I pulled in on a wave and I literally. I could feel my fins slowing me down. It was chattering that much. I've been barreled on this so many times because it just it it has that that speed to be able to uh, you know keep you in the barrel for that that much longer. So this is a great great board for um, sort of a wave that's going to take you a lot faster and further, and um, and great for barrels. Like I said, um, you can really you know you can really get some good barrels on this board. So uh, that's why we put that in the um, in the category of more sort of advanced. And so now we get down to our specialist boards. So this would be, um, you know, like I said, again, we, we, we categorize these because it makes it, these are what they were designed for. Again, I've used I've used this in all sorts of conditions where this excels. And remember, I was talking about the the concave. Notice how the concave on, on, on those boards previously didn't have much, right? And that goes all the way down to that. Now that, now the reason we call this a specialist board is because it special, specializes in shore break. Um, there isn't a better board that I, try, I have tried, and this is thanks to Mr. Sean Anoka for spending basically his life coming up with this awesome shape. Um, and so the biggest difference between this and any other board, and people will try to copy this, I guarantee you because it works so well, is that the concave, it's literally like having a fin on your hand. Um, I actually watched some footage of somebody at the wedge using one of these, and he was losing it, and then he, he, he kind of realized he had, a, he, had, he had the board on his hand, and he just dug it in, and it pulled him right up, and just gunned it straight down because this board basically what it does is you just if you're going right down the wave as you know with my shoulder to the wave you put the board in like that it just it literally like a blade just sticks right into into the side of the wave like that and um, just keeps you attached now I've tried that with this board at Salt Creek and it was the first first time that I really kind of I understood exactly you know why you know why these two boards were so different is that that just slipped straight underneath me because I was on a really steep shore break and it just it slipped out I took I went in went inside got got this board and I had a great day because it was basically just it was built to handle that kind of wave and that's um, you know and so if you feel comfortable in 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 taking off on some really steep shore break and remember shore break is really really dangerous because you're it's called shore break it's actually breaking onto the shore um or in really shallow water so you really want to be careful um we don't recommend going into shore break if it's the first time you've done it by any means um pick one of these boards um i would definitely start with the with the grom because it's an amazing awesome board um but this board is designed specifically for that and what it'll do is it'll get you out of trouble where you need it it keeps you high on the wave um this also um, it's what's great about that is it actually keeps you on the face instead of dumping you straight back over um so there we have it that uh those are the um those are the guys lined up as you can see, and, and hopefully you can understand a little bit. Hopefully I was able to kind of convey exactly um, why these boards exist. Um, we won't probably be bringing out a board another shape because um, I think we really have nailed exactly um, pretty much every kind of wave that you can possibly, ma you know, po possibly think of. Um, from shore break all the way through to um, you know your bigger your bigger sort of crumbling stuff and then um, you know your good all-round board if once you get to that level 
and then of course the Grom, which we've just introduced, which is great for kids, but an amazing board ask. Sean was just telling us about um, uh, how he went out at, at Pipeline with, with the Grom, and uh, because of the extra weight, he's a big guy, and because of the weight, he was able to like really get up and actually get sections, you know, come around sections. Um, so that's a fantastic board. Again, another uh, fantastic all round board. So hopefully I didn't confuse everybody. But um, again, from uh, from sort of beginner all the way down to your specialist board. So if you guys have got any questions, um, if I've uh, confused you or, or, or you have any questions or you want to know something more maybe I didn't answer it uh, please yeah just put put in the comments um, whatever you happen to be on whether this is YouTube or Facebook and um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll answer it as best we can so thank you very much for joining us and we will see you on when we're we gonna see Tuesday so Tuesday we'll be doing another which will this time we will cover uh, wave types, which actually I feel like I went through anyway, but we'll do a choosing a board um, by wave type. So um, I kind of touched on that a little bit, but we'll go into more depth on choosing a board by, by your wave type. So. And if you want to learn about financial models and Excel sheets, come join me. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> financial models and Excel sheets and handboarding. Awesome, thank you.